going to be frightened? Are you going to be frightened? Am I going to be frightened? Terrified, probably. Am I really? Am I really? Mind you, look at the size of that. I might be frightened now. <laughs> Elevated rides and water rides are, are down for the moment. Hopefully, they'll come back up soon. 
if it gets too busy though we've got a uh, time saver pass which we get for staying at the Dream Mall Resort complimentary time saver pass which is otherwise forty dollars each and it gives you it's like Disney's fast pass and it gives you access to one, two, three, four, five, six, there's twelve attractions all together. So you can go on ten of those. Pick like your favourite one and go on that ten times. <laughs> the lightning's moved on and all rides are reopened so we're going to go back down to back down to lightning rod am I going to be frightened? are you going to be frightened? am I going to be frightened? terrified probably am I really? am I really? <laughs> I'm going to be frightened it's going to be the adrenaline rush Mind you, look at the size of that. I might be frightened now. <laughs> <laughs> that goes up very high. <laughs> that one, Sean? Oh, my God. <laughs> Absolutely crazy. Never. What speed were we doing? What were we doing? <laughs> <laughs> That was absolutely... Come on, give me seat, man. He's like, yes! And he did it! <laughs> I wasn't oh. expecting it. I wasn't expecting that it was, to be as fast that as that. That was... That was crazy. It was, a, it was great fun. But Sean doesn't want to do it again. I don't do that again. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and we were in the front of all places. Yeah. Well, we had the best view. Well, yeah. Well, so that was fun. Probably got wet flash on that. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. That was mental. Uh, the guy behind me, you know, he uh, went, I, he said, what was that? I went, it was mental. I said, oh, mental, I don't know what it was. He went, I don't know what it was. And the other guy went, yeah. <laughs> Everybody said, like, shock coming off it. It didn't help, I think, with you that you pulled the restraint on a little too much. It was a that little was hurting, yeah, because, too yeah. much of a cut shot, was it? Hot rod. Gift. Uh, a lightning rod for the. This is the gift shop for the ride. Then. So this is the Southern Gospel Music Association Hall of Fame Museum. Yeah, they were one of the first. Huh? I, think, I think they were one of the first ones to have their own tour bus. Brothers of Memphis, Tennessee. Yeah, they had offices on Jefferson, Blackwood Brothers did in Memphis. Mm -hmm. And then they moved to ones by Poplar Tunes across the road. Oh, 
Yeah. Founded the National Quartet Convention. They, there's the Statesman, they were, they were Elvis's. Yeah, I saw the Statesman down by there. No, they were Elvis's favourite. Well, when um, I saw it, I thought I knew the name. Statesman and the Blackwoods were, were the, the big, big stars of the Southern Gospel. Yeah, quite, uh, quite the celebrities in the South, mind, don't they? Oh, the gospel song. Stuart Hamlin, no, it is no secret. The Elvis recording is Tom Z. Dorsey with Peace in the Valley. The Elvis recorded. Ben Spear, along with his brother Brock, who I assume Brock, sorry. Yes, there is Brock. Sang back up on. Oh, this is recordings. First recordings before the Jordan is. Yeah, just entering uh, under the tunnel into Wildwood Grove. So we haven't seen this before. This is a new addition to the park. Well, last, last was it this summer it opened? Um, yeah, I think it might have been. Been. Yeah, I think it was this summer, wasn't it? The last one of the day. I'm going to do the other wooden roller coaster. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh yeah. I like that. Cullen Wopla, among his peers, he was so popular. Uh, I can't see it, but the wooden, this wooden roller coaster goes way back. It's quite high as well. So that's what's going on now. So I stand ahead then. It's great, good, good old, good old fashioned, good old fashioned wood, wooden roller coaster. Bit of a bone shaker, but very fast, very fast. Uh, he's talking now. Now here's my point. If my forest friends are the living fiber of this country, then why do folks mount them on their walls? Well, most folks will tell you it's because they're such beautiful animals. Yeah, my mama is attractive, but I keep photographs of her. Trigger the horse? He was no less an American than George Washington. But nobody <laughs> ever mounted George above the fireplace. Dang! Wow. Food for thought, anyways. Hey, speaking of food, anybody got any? I'm willing to sing for my supper. Here's a little ditty that won me the Songbird Award at the Timber Canyon Talent Contest. A tune my pappy sang to mama every night of their lives. And forgive me if it brings a tear to my eye. It's called, You're the Reason Our Kids Are Ugly. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> you know I love you, mama. It's actually a song about a subject near and dear to vultures everywhere. Roadkill. <laughs> on the road again. I just can't wait to eat on the road again. The life I love is having dinner with my friends. So I can't wait to eat on the road again. 